Hey everybody, my name is Madison Lake. I am president of Everest Direct Mail and Marketing in Asheville, North Carolina. We help real estate investors all over the United States and Canada purchase homes by mailing potential sellers yellow letters. So today, our topic for direct mail marketing myths and truths uh, will be handwritten yellow letters. So why are handwritten yellow letters so popular among the real estate investor community? Well, it's pretty simple. It's because they work. Now, a whole bunch of people do postcards, but we're going to just focus on yellow letters today and why and how these campaigns work so well. So I'm bringing up a couple of actual samples that we do. So Everest Direct Mail has been doing this a long time and we mail hundreds of thousands of these things out every single month. We have clients that mail tens of thousands of these out every single month and they do millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of home flipping every single year. Their entire business is upon these yellow letters. So it doesn't matter if you're in Omaha, Nebraska, Boston, Massachusetts, New York City, all over the country, even in rural areas, these yellow letters work really well, and we're going to talk about why they work. So if you are watching this video, I'm assuming that you are interested in going into uh, real estate investing for either home flipping or for uh, buying a home and then investing in, in uh, rehabilitating it and renting it out um, to be a landlord or so on and so forth. So, um, so basically, your target profiling demographic of who you're sending these yellow letters to um, are probably going to be typically someone that, uh, which of course we can help with profiling on. I know all this stuff, but typically the most common is that uh, probate is really popular. Um, also, certain profiling demographics, uh, maybe somebody looking at downsizing, they have a lot of equity in their home. We can pull all that information for people, but even if you're doing this on your own, um, this video is, is for that as well. So this is literally, if you're, if you're just a small real estate investor, mailing 25 or 30 of these things out a week. We're probably not the right fit, but I'm going to kind of go into detail on uh, how to make this really work and why this works really well. Um, so this is a pretty popular topic. So uh, buckle up for some good information in this video uh, and for some more information and to reach out to us, our contact information right here below is our website and our 800 number uh, that you can call us any day of the week and we actually have specialists that just do this yellow letters that's all they do so let's go ahead and go into what a yellow letter really is um, and also some recommendations for individuals we recommend using a number 10 envelope of a certain color you can use white but we have we recommend over 10,000 different colors. There's all sorts of stuff. We have canary yellow. There's like 12 different shades of yellow that you can use. Um, and then you'll also notice there's a live stamp on here and handwritten envelopes. So this is really important. I'm going to show you a trick that's proprietary in-house that we'll also mention. So the other big thing is the yellow letter itself. So we are going to talk first before I get into the fun envelope, which is super important, but I'm going to talk about the yellow letter. So. Everest Direct Mail, and I tell everyone this on what you need to use, we use a 16-pound yellow letter. This is important. 16-pound yellow letter. So this is newsprint. This is newsprint. This means that it's very personalized. What a lot of people are doing out there in the industry is that they will go with a 20-pound letter, something like this, where, you know, it's you can't really tell on the camera, but it's definitely heavier. And what they do is they print the... Uh, the lines and they uh, they print the yellow on on white on white stock and what happens is that it screams fake when someone opens up the envelope and it immediately decreases user engagement pretty much right from the get-go so what happens is that you use a uh, newsprint and we actually so that so this print is actual uh, the the actual pulp is dyed yellow and what ends up happening is that this is printed on large web presses and this is the same stuff that schools buy and uh, you know for or notepads that you rip off you know from Amazon or, or Walmart or wherever you buy your notepad from so and this is an eight half by eleven sheet of paper and as you can see it is a handwritten font so I had to kind of go over here and show that this is a handwritten font. Fonts are super expensive. You do not need to handwrite a font. Um, you do not need to create your own font. There is something called chaos font recognition, which is something that we use, where it actually will write a chaos font where people ha have to really look at it to be able to tell if it's fake or not. But they've already gotten the message by the time they've seen, oh, wait a minute, this actually is not a 
this is not someone didn't handwrite this, but you can tell that's handwritten even by looking at the back. It looks like a pen went through it, and even on the front, but we have specialty machinery that we have custom modified to be able to run this type of paper. And um, but you can also do it at home. So something that we recommend if you're doing this at home, uh, you can get eight and a half by eleven sheets of paper, notepad paper, and just kind of rip it all off. And then um, an inkjet printer on the lightest paper weight uh, might actually help you. Um, so and of course uh, we do a lot of different things. You can actually see what's kind of cool about this is a um, is a little sample. You can see I'm talking about the chaos font. Is that the thinks? looks a little bit different than the signature, and that is where the chaos font comes in. Um, and of course, is all included in the services that we do. So this is just uh, C folded, so when they open it up, it says, hey, and then it has their name, their personalized information. We even throw in um, uh, different things like, you know, how much they uh, they might owe in their house, or even an offer. We can even, uh, you, you know, we can do all sorts of variable data in here. And we recommend when you're sending this out on your own, doing variable data, personalized variable data is incredibly important um, in order to be successful doing yellow letters. Envelope is the second most important thing. Um, so the first thing, uh, what we always tell people is that there's a few things you can do on, on a letter. Okay, first of all, use a color envelope. White envelopes are great. Color envelopes are better, and they're basically the same price. So you might as well just use a color envelope. Uh, there might be maybe a penny more just to use a color envelope. So it's you, know, you might as well go ahead and use it. The other thing is that a live stamp is super important. This is super unique. You every once in a while you have like a postcard that uses a live stamp, and it helps. It helps with engagement. People are like, wow, they have live stamps. What? people don't know is that we have very expensive and very advanced machinery that can put a live stamp on every single envelope. So we can run hundreds of thousands of live stamps every single day, but people don't know that. So what ends up happening is that they think, oh, someone actually put a stamp on the envelope, which is awesome. And then, of course, you can see here we have handwritten address and return address. We sometimes even do a return address on the back. We might sometimes not even do a return address depending on the client's preference. So. One thing to note about this that's really important and different, I'm actually going to show people this here. See this? This is an intelligent mail barcode. And you see this? This is a what's called an imprint right here. This screams bulk mail. So what we do is we actually do, we will print your uh, zip code. We'll have it handwritten, but by the time it actually enters into the mail stream, you're not going to have like this digital stuff. It's going to look like you dropped it at the mailbox. You're going to have a tiny UV IMB intelligent mail barcode in the back here, but that's it. And what ends up happening is when it gets delivered, it the first thing is like, wow, someone actually mailed me a letter, and uh, that's incredibly important um, to uh, to do that. So the other uh, few things is to kind of keep in mind on yellow letters is that you've got um, your line kerning, so you want to make sure that the lines are kind of chaotic. People don't write in perfect lines in every single line, which is a big mistake a lot of people make, and uh, the human eye can pick up on that. Really Really quick. So you want to make sure that that the text is kind of off on the lines, um, and uh, it looks much more personal that way. Um, so, and of course, uh, you know, make sure it's stuffed and lightweight envelope. And then also, what's really cool is that when typically people are pulling a letter out of the mailbox, it's bright and sunny most days of the week. So what ends up happening, and you can't really tell because we're inside under the fluorescence right now, but they'll actually see that something's yellow inside the envelope. So uh, these envelopes are uh, 20, 20 to 30 pound paper, and it's pretty clear. So they can act, when you actually pull it out of the mailbox, it will look like there's something yellow inside, which intrigues people and say, hey, I want to open this. Now, we do yellow le uh, or white letters all the time. And a cool thing about white letters is that when you open it, you can actually see handwritten text, which you might actually be able to see. Right, there you go, yep. So the white letters makes it a little bit more contrast. So it's all just based on client preference. That's, what, that's all it is. Never do an imprint if you're doing bulk mail. Never ever do an imprint. Do not do that in, do not do an indictia, which is basically the, like the red fluorescent on the envelope. You can, it saves a little bit of money. It saves a couple pennies a piece, but we highly recommend the live stamps. And live stamping is definitely one of our specialties that a lot of other people don't offer. We have a lot more information with our account representatives that do yellow letters. So if you are a real estate investor and you are looking for more leads, do yellow letters. Uh, we 
cannot stress that enough. Uh, do yellow letters. Um, postcards are okay. Uh, sometimes we do recommend uh, doing a letter in what's called a drip campaign. We'll do a letter and then a week later we will mail them a postcard from you and then another week we'll mail them a yellow letter and the week after we will mail them a self mailer where it'll have something in here and it'll be glued and z folded and stuff. So what ends up happening with the drip campaign is that even though you put all of this together and I'll mail this one person, this costs you less than a dollar to do. So, and then they might call, and this might be a fifteen dollars or $20,000 profit, which is why the return on investment for yellow letter campaigns and drip mail campaigns are so high. So uh, give us a call. Uh, let us know where we can help you and your real estate investor stuff. And if you're doing this on your own, good for you. It takes a lot of time, which is, but if you're doing like 50 mailers a week, 25 mailers a week, go ahead, just do it on your own. And, and that's basically what, that's our recommendations of how to get the best return. And you know what? That's okay if you're doing it on your own because eventually what will end up happening is that you'll grow your business so much that you're going to be doing a thousand of these every single week. And you're going to want to come to a company like ours and say, hey, we need help and we need this campaign managed. And that is really big for us is that you can come to us and we basically say, this is a managed campaign. We can pre-produce a bunch of these and mail it out on certain schedules and what we call a flight schedule and so on and so forth. So um, so this is definitely one of our specialties. Um, we mail out hundreds of thousands thousands of these every single month with the live stamps, which is really cool, and it supports countless people uh, with their successful yell letter campaigns. So information below, everestdmm.com, or you can also just give us a call with the 800 number below, and we're looking forward to talking with you very soon.